is 10 News. They called for an Uber only to be sexually assaulted. Tonight, we have learned it's happened to thousands of customers over the past couple of years. Several of those cases were right here in San Diego, and our tennis reporter Anthony Pura is live at the airport where an expert claims safety measures need to be put in place. Anthony. Well, especially when you consider the millions of people that jump into an Uber every day. In fact, we saw a lot of people do just that here at the airport tonight. Now, he says that there are things that the company and passengers can do to make the experience safer. Uber released this 84 page safety report focusing on sexual assaults and how often they occur within its rides. The rideshare giant says there were nearly 6,000 sexual assaults reported in 2017 and 2018 combined. 464 of those cases were rape. The report goes on to say that Uber's drivers are screened first with their driving record, then with background checks conducted by a third party company. So typically a standard pre-employment screening background is going to look for criminal convictions. So people have to realize there are times that somebody may be arrested for something, but they were not convicted. Kevin LaChapelle is a former law enforcement officer. He says it's important to remember a background check is not a personality test. It's difficult, you know, predicting behaviors because there's so many different variables. In 2016, Jeremy Vague, who drove for Uber and Lyft, was sentenced for sexually assaulting an 18 year old passenger. The woman was getting a ride from Palomar College to her home in Escondido. Another Uber driver, John Sanchez, sentenced to 80 years in prison for raping a woman who got into his vehicle in 2016. The woman was leaving North Park after a first date. Her date called her an Uber because she had been drinking. In the report, Uber says that in their cases, the passengers are not always the victims. Sometimes it's the drivers, also adding that 99.9% .9 of its rides had no issues. La Chapelle says there are things passengers can do to protect themselves when getting into any rideshare. I always sit in the back seat, me personally, and because there's somewhat of a little bit of a barrier. The other thing is, 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 you know, having the ability to either have your window down, you know, something that you can alert someone, drivers, I think they absolutely should have a camera. And I actually think that Uber and Lyft should mandate cameras in all of the vehicles. Now, Uber says that they have added safety features to their app, including safety tools and emergency buttons. They plan to release another one of these reports in the next two years, and that will be a recurring thing, according to the report. We're reporting live tonight at the airport. Anthony Pura, 10 News. Anthony, thank you.